In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to use the TI-84 graphing calculator in order to calculate descriptive statistics. Now, please note that if you have a TI-83, uh, the functions are virtually the same. There might be a couple of little minor differences. So one of the first things that we'll have to do is we'll have to enter the data into the graphing calculator. And we're going to do that by going to the stats button, which is in the second row right here. You can see where my cursor is. You'll hit stats. You'll open that up. Notice across the top we have three menus that we can go to. First, we're going to go into the edit menu because we have to enter data in here. So we'll choose option number one. Once this opens up, you would go through and you would type in all the data points. You would type in 36, press the enter button, 37, the enter button, so on and so forth. I already typed the data in to speed things up a little bit. So if you need to, you can pause the video at this point and type in the data on your calculator. Once we have the data in a list, what we can do is we can go back to statistics. And this time we want to go over to this calculate menu. And the way we get there is we use the right navigation arrow right here. And we're going to choose one variable statistics because I'm only dealing with one variable. And then you'll hit enter. Notice the one is highlighted, by the way. You could also hit the number one and it'll select that. Since I have a newer uh, TI-84 cal uh, calculator or emulator, um, it has this dialog box where it says list one, and then you have to choose the list that you're using. Um, if you have an older calculator, it might say one bear stats across the top, uh, top of your screen. And you would just hit enter, and it would automatically choose list one. If you needed a different list to enter in here, you would use the second button, and if you look above the one, two, three, four, five, and six, you'll see L1 through L6 respectively, and you would just tell it which list you're going to use and then hit enter. Um, we're gonna skip the frequency list because we're not dealing with that right now, and we're gonna go down to calculate, and then we'll hit enter. This will generate the output that we need for our summary statistics. So the very first things that, thing it gives us is our sample mean. I'm going to ignore the next two, but those are useful. The S with the subscript of X is the sample standard deviation right there, 8.911687933. That's the sample standard deviation. And then the sigma with the X is the population standard deviation. So your calculator doesn't know what type of data you've just typed in. It doesn't know if it's sample data or population data. Now I'm going to tell you more than likely it is sample data. Um, so we want to make sure that we're using the sample standard deviation when we do this. So in the data that I typed in, that sample data in 8.911 would be the correct standard deviation. And then we're given the sample size. And if we use the down arrow, you notice there's more measurements down below. The graphing calculator also summarizes that five number summary that we talked about in an earlier video right here. And it's using the same method that we, we used in the video. So it's, uh, it's not using two keys hinges. Um, so we have our minimum value, which is 36, our first quartile, which is 39, our median, which is 44, our third quartile, which is 45, and our maximum value, which is 69. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how to use your graphing calculator to generate summary statistics for doing any other calculations you may want to do.